Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman Subscribe to I see you've copied my beard Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Jada Toys Metals die-cast review on the DC Bombshells, Catwoman, and 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it right now. I'm big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Jada Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest in Jada Toys, check the link in the description below. And this is a very nice looking cat. Cadillac right over there, very nice looking Catwoman. And on the side, you can see a window. Well, it's just clear all the way through, so that's pretty cool. And on the back, you can see a whole bunch of the other DC bombshells that are available. I reviewed Poison Ivy and the Batgirl already. And then on this side, you can see the rear end of the Cadillac. And then on the very top, you get a nice view right there. And then not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's a 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville out of the packaging. And this is such a beautiful vehicle. Ah, I think this is awesome. My cousin used to have one of these and I just thought it was always an awesome looking car. I'm not really into cars so I don't really know all the details and whatnot but oh man seeing this paint job right here with the black and purple oh man I think it looks absolutely stunning. So there's quite a few details I want to get a closer look at so let's go ahead and look at that Catwoman figurine first and then we'll take a closer look at the Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Bombshell yeah she's a bombshell oh yeah I love this look for Catwoman man isn't this stunning or what it's just a very tiny figurine right here but man this is gorgeous looking for how small it is I think they've actually really done quite a bit as far as details go yeah so I think this is a great looking little piece right here it has some heft to it uh, for a comparison you can see it next to the back girl right there so that's pretty cool they're in about the same scale and just to measure the height of this piece you can see she's standing at about three inches tall so here's looking at the front of the caddy and it looks beautiful I like this grill quite a bit it looks pretty nice again I don't know all the details but it looks pretty sweet and then looking at the front right over or the hood anyway I think that looks great and you can see the Cadillac logo right there looking pretty cool and then you could open this up and you can see the engine inside see all that chrome in there looks fantastic I really dig that quite a bit pretty sweet and then coming around this side right here you can see the rims and we get rubber tires on this so that's pretty cool you feel the rubber in there and then we get this nice Catwoman deco looking beautiful and there's no window right here on the passenger side you can go ahead and open up the door and you can see the purple interior right there and the chrome steering wheel which is the inside of the door you can see the rear seats right there pretty cool Here's looking on the back. I like how the spoilers look right there. Is this like technically a spoiler, right? But we get the two tail lights right there up top and then one at the bottom. And this whole T shape right here I think is accurate. I did look up the tail lights and stuff and having the dual tail lights right over here looks really good. There's a Cadillac logo again on the back. And you could go ahead and open this up and you can see all the trunk space in there. Pretty cool. So that's pretty sweet. And here's looking at the other side. Ah, I love the clean paint on this, man. All that back metal looks so good. And you get this whole silver stripe coming along the side right there. And then this side, Catwoman Deco looks pretty good as well. And here's looking at the very top of it, looking pretty cool, so you can get an overhead view right there. Then here's looking at the bottom, not looking too bad at all. It's pretty sweet. And then to see how it rolls, you know, it rolls very smoothly. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> okay, now here it comes back. I gotta say, one thing I really like about these metals too is just the fact that they're made out of this die cast metal. You know, it's nice and hefty. I really dig it. But anyway, uh, measuring this out, you can see it's at about, I wanna say, just a little over nine inches across. And then you can see just under three inches tall, or closer to two and a half inches high. And then for a die cast metals bombshells comparison, we have the 1957 Chevy Corvelle from Batgirl next to the Cadillac right over here. And this looks pretty awesome seeing these two side by side. I like both of the paint schemes on these. These two are my favorite out of all of them that they have available. I really dig them both, but yeah. But the 59 Coupe de Ville, yeah, I think this is my favorite one. And then for another die cast metals comparison, we have the Batmobile from Justice League. I think I picked this up a few years ago. I had to get this, but yeah, this is also from Jada Toys. And yeah, you can see how they don't really scale together at all. This should be much larger, but still, uh, I still really like this a lot. And then just so you can see the Cadillac next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. I gotta thank you guys again for watching my video, and I appreciate it 
it when you hit that like button, leave your comments, and please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I really like how this vehicle looks, man. This is an awesome car. I always just thought this was a really cool, slick design. I really like it a lot. I love the paint job on it. I think they just did an excellent job with this piece, and I love that little Catwoman figurine, too. That is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm giving this a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so again, please leave a comment down below. If you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything in the description below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs>